Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. This morning I'm uh, heading to Finnegan Island. Uh, the weather is supposed to be bloody good all day today. I've, um, I've left it a bit late though. It's nearly 10 a.m. Uh, I've been battling a bit of a um, head cold for the last few days, so uh, I'm not too sure if this is a good idea or a bad idea at the moment, um, heading out in the water. Yeah, if the weather's not too bad and the swell and the tides and whatever, I'll hopefully um, get down to the west a little bit, which is down the coast, and have a bit more of a sound around there, try and find some ground. I've got a little bit of bait with me, and um, might crawl some lures, see what happens. I uh, just can't not give it a crack today, because the weather is, um, is so good. Never know, might grab a fish or two. Well, we've um, reached the ground. A mate gave me a spot uh, actually last year that I worked with up here. And um, yeah, never really had the uh, conditions to get here. It's about six meters deep. So yeah, just to, um, just gonna have a drift around here for a bit. Got a bit of squid for bait. And um, yeah, I'll see what happens. Have a bit of a drift around, see if we can pick up something. Uh, it would be awesome to get a uh, baldy or a um, or a coral trout, something like that. Uh, I personally haven't caught a baldy on this boat that's um, that's been decent, and um, I've never caught a size coral trout. So anyway, we'll see how we go. There's a bit of there's a few lumps and bumps here, so um, yeah, I'll have a couple of drifts around, and um, and we'll see what we can um, we can get. Just using a single drop Paternoster rig for now. See how we go. Just a little sinker. Just gonna bounce some of these paternosters down. Yeah, some little pickers, but nothing really, uh, nothing decent. Uh, I'll give another 15 minutes or so. If no luck, I'll uh, I might zing around and um, have a look for some more ground. Little tiny blue bone. Change flag. Change flag. Off you go, buddy. Little blue bone everywhere. All right, hundred percent. This is the last drop, unless I catch something epic. Not much around. A couple of little blue bone and a um, 
Spanish flag, and that was about it. Another one. Finger mark or golden snapper, I think some people call it. Yep. really yet there was a few uh, tuna jumping around before um, trawled around them got a couple of like just little taps but um but nothing hooked up so yeah just going back up to where I was uh, drifting before and gonna go up to the end of a bit of a uh, bit of reef up here do a Yui and then um, start heading back I thought the wind was picking up a little bit it was starting to ripple on the water and I'm a fair way home uh, from the boat ramp, so um, the tide's pretty much full on turning now. So it's uh, tides. Ooh, I had a hit then. So it just went bang. We are on. We are on. <laughs> Barracuda or some shit. Whoa. Shit. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, just on my way back to the boat ramp, found a little blip on the um, on the sounder. So I'm just going to chuck a soft plastic over. And if that doesn't work, I'll um, I'll give bait another go. Just coming up to it in a minute. Just had a visit by the fisheries as well. I get visits uh, more from the fisheries up here than I do anywhere else, randomly. Actually. Fucking turtles everywhere. Go little vibe. Do your thing. There is a few fish on the sounder. I'd be pretty much pulling that vibe straight through them. And they're not doing shit. Yeah, that's just shit there. Oh man, oh, I just got railed. <laughs> Shit. Oh, switch over to the big guns. All right, we'll go back. That would have been a uh, big cod or something similar. I don't know which way we're drifting. Oh, we're going real basic now. I'm gonna get snagged for sure. Every time you get it near the bottom, something just fucking destroys it. Oh, got something. What is it? Huh. Ah, finger mark. Round three. Yep. Oh, no. Another one, eh? Another one. There you go, mate. Ah, must be millions of these things down there. There you go, mate. Where's your big mate? Little baldy.
Big flag. Oh, bigger flag. Nice. Uh, about time. He's sized. Brain spike him. And he's done. Give him a bit of a bleed. Chuck him on us. Sweet. Fucking things. Go on, get. They're good if you can get the big ones. Chinaman. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, she's bright. Bright little Chinaman. <laughs> little Mackie, little school Mackie. Chew too. 45. Gold spotted rock cod. 45 centimetre and um, yeah, lovely. Brain spiking. Uh, I'm going to call it, uh, even though the wind's pretty good. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> Yeah, I've got no energy with the old cold. Bit of man flu going on. But um yeah, I got that one golden spotted rock cod. Uh, it's just under 500 mil and the um Spanish flag. So I'll um just sort of semi-fillet them up now. Keep the frames till I get into the um boat ramp because um fisheries or whatever. I'm not too sure if that's the wrong or right way to do it. Probably a little bit frowned upon, but um there's no fish cleaning facilities anywhere here, which is um, one shitty thing about Port Hedland. Even the town boat ramp, um, yeah, it doesn't have them. Anyway, I um, it's good. I found a couple of uh, new bits of ground, and um, yeah, it's pretty good fun. That's the old rock cod there, Spanish flag. Sweet. Yeah. One thing I always forget to bring is um, Ziploc bags. Always, eh? We've either got 20 of the fucking things laying around, or I've got none. Too late with the tides. 
Um, I came out here on high, high tide and it is super low. So I'm just trying to, I think up here is a channel, but I'm just not too sure if it's correct or not. I'll soon find out. It's low, low tide right now. It's 4.30 in the Arvo, so i um, just try not to get the boat pushed up on any sort of mud flat. I'm in half a metre of water. Let's see how we go. Might be a bit of an opening just over there. But yeah, the last thing I want to do now is get stuck. Worst case scenario, I'm going to chuck the anchor over and just um, just wait. Uh, still searching. It's got the prop up as high as I can go. And we'll just put on in. Uh, so I'm just going to get in there somehow. Just going to try and find an opening where it's not um, it's not closing out on me. The tide is coming back in with this swell. But um, yeah, I'm a really light boat, so any sort of sort of half meter waves, if I don't face them right, I'll flip the boat. Oh, it's touch and go. That's a big sandbar there. That's a big sandbar over there. I think the channel is just there. So if I can get over there, I'm good. I'm reading absolutely nothing on the sounder. Zero. Yeah. Gonna get a little bit further. It looks green just there. I think we're gonna be good. Uh, that's inside the creek there, and around the corner is the um, is the boat ramp. Fuel. I was sure it would have a in and out, um, but yeah, it was uh, a little bit. How you going there? 1.2 meters deep. Should be right. 